So this is the result of my Kingsong SIT 2200 watts power. That's it. Just coming out to test my S18 with the big modifications, extra battery, uh, 2,200 watts. There you go. seems to be working perfectly. All put back together. Look at it, the beauty. Ah, it's big and massive. It weighs 33.5 kilograms. Look at that. So all the fitting back on and it writes great. No problem. Okay, the test on the S18 is successful. Uh, went for eight miles in the wood, in trail ride, uh, without any problem. Just have to get used to with the extra weight on there. And uh, because it's wider now, I uh, have to uh, move my leg out a bit. Uh, now, because I've got this big pedal, uh, it's perfectly fine without any problem. Plenty of space. And uh, to make the pedal close, what I need to do is to uh, I have to cut that off around there so that's the only way to uh, get the pedal to close is to remove a bit of this uh, plastic here on the bottom uh, this is how I cut it off Okay, this is what it looks like after removing it. So uh, yeah, so the pedal will close properly now. So I went back out and did another 18 miles on it to give another final test. Okay, the slight problem is um, when I close the um, handle, uh, the battery here tends to be in the way of the handle going down. So I've taken the handle apart. Uh, what I'm thinking is uh, just going to uh, just cut this bit off so that it's not in the way. And that should allow the handle to go down smoothly. So just disassembling the handle and uh, remove this uh, pointy sharp bit here, which is amusing. And that's quite sharp. Sometimes you can cut yourself with this uh, corner there. Okay, I'm um, continue with my mod. Uh, what I've done today is um, I sealed all the plug, waterproof them. Because they will be uh, inside the uh, unit and it's kind of exposed. So if I need to wash the, uh, the unicycle after a dirty ride, uh, which I will usually do and spray water over it and this should protect the plug from getting wet so hopefully this uh, keeps the water out okay once it's dry then uh, I leave it 24 hours and once it's dry then uh, I can use it to plug it back in and at the back of here what I've done is I 3d printed a part like go out a bit I use a 3d printer to uh, print this bar along there 
and so I like secure them with screw. At the, at the moment, it's temporary uh, using a cable tie to uh, join them together, to pull them in. But this seems to be uh, working perfectly. So I will print another one on the back, on the bottom, which will link that up as well. And I also have some uh, long screw, which will be replacing this cable tie. And I will put that in there, which is 80 millimeter long. And that should uh, so straighten this up uh, once the screws are in. And on the back of here, I will think of some sort of uh, plastic bending to cover that, uh, which will make it look like the original. Okay, and also the back here, I noticed a lot of dust is shooting up the back of the uh, unit. And uh, even with the suspension protection there, the dust protection is still getting a lot on the side. So I'm gonna experiment putting another flap onto the inside mudguard and hopefully that will keep the dust out a bit more. So yeah, and also on the pedal, because this is not closing anymore, uh, all I've done is I have a little rubber band here, which I just pull over and secure it like this. And that will keep the pedal up. So this band is, uh, is secure on the inside. So it's very uh, secure. So if I need to do it, just pull that out and off we come. And in, just grab that and there's your pedal holder. Okay, no more silly clips, uh, which doesn't work anyway. Well, that's it for now. Uh, I'll come back to you when it's all done. Okay, another day. So here we are. So now the uh, the seal is completely dry, all waterproof, so this shouldn't be a problem now. Um, and uh, I have connected on this side, so I'm going to use this uh, to seal where the plugs are. I'm going to use some plumber tapes. So this is the uh, to stop the leak on the, on pipes. So this stuff are very sticky and they're, they're brilliant. So once it's wrapped around it, it'll be sealed tight. So I'm going to put some of that on around the plug. Okay, so this is the plug and that's the plumber's tape. As I say, they're very sticky and soft. That's where the joint is. And so you pull it around to make it thinner. <clears throat> That's all you need because they do seal it up very good. So this plug is 100% waterproof now. So I can, uh, when, I, when you go for a long ride, the whole machine gets very dusty and dirty. So by having this on, this will protect the water going into the plug if I spray water all over the machine. So that's pretty good there. probably notice I have changed the uh, the battery cover I will show that on my video how to do this as well so this is all cover up Let's put that in as well so I see this uh, when you plug the battery in I mean uh, this is where people are worried when you have too many battery in it might blow the circuit but in this case it is absolutely okay you can unplug it plug it in anytime you want without any problem so that's the secondary battery going in there the King Song the power management is a much better so it's like a laptop when you buy a uh, a laptop and if you want a bigger battery for that particular laptop 
we get a more higher power battery for the laptop which doubles the the length of charge uh, well usage so in this case that's what we're doing here is having a bigger battery don't want too much on there that might be a bit bulky so once it's in press in and that really seals the plug you can see there it's very sticky and soft but that is 100% waterproof this plug Because the black stuff is like tarmac and it gets everywhere. So cover that up. You can see the mark of those look, they're like tarmac paste. Very dirty. So that will keep it in there. Nice and moist. <laughs> So we'll do the same on to the other side. So for the power management there, I just uh, put a cable tie in there, wrap it around there, and uh, put it plug into this. And this goes back over here. So like that. So okay. So there's plenty of gap there for the plug to rest to sit on there, which are uh, the only problem. Yeah, so that's all good. So when water goes down into here, um, you see here, the plug will be sealed and water tight. So the water just run down, no any problem. longer screw because it's uh it comes out slightly that goes into that happy there see so it's quite strong that's not gonna move right uh, while I'm doing the mod at the moment I might as well put in a kickstand because uh, on the uh, Thanksgiving website I found someone uploaded uh, this new um, kickstand for the Kingsong S18 so the file can be downloaded free and uh, whoever put it up there is uh, the guy's brilliant so he designed this kickstand so i'm gonna test it out to see how how well it performed so again i printed this it takes about 13 hours to print uh 70 percent fill i use 70 rather than 60 to make it extra strong because i got the extra battery uh yeah it's uh, very simple just three parts one two and three so uh to fit this on It just slots into this battery as well uh, it mounts onto the battery so what you have to do is uh, pull it in 
and slide it in and mark the hole and drill the hole. And once the hole is drilled, then you just secure with the nuts and screw. So uh, there you go. Okay, so I've got two sides. So I'm gonna put that in. I'm gonna test the uh, the stand as well, see how good it performed. <laughs> Might as well. Okay, uh, it's all back together. I still need to finish this off. And I still got two screws to come as well. Uh, they're extra long, 80 centimeters long. Long screw there, so I'm gonna put two big screws there. And uh, yeah, we uh, go from there when it comes. But uh, today I think I might take it out and do a test. A uh, second test, this will be the second test. Uh, also, the uh, kickstand seems to work okay. So I just put that up. Put that up and kick that down. And see if it stands. Yeah, it stands. Brilliant. It works. Yeah. Obviously, you notice uh, I've got this fan here for the stand. So, I want to get this out. And here you come. And we're going to do this. Brilliant. That solves that problem. I have to put my grab pad, uh, handle back on. Uh, so, uh, because this, this, I still need a lean pad. Okay, uh, time to weigh this bad boy. Okay, let's see what the weight is. I've got the scale there. Let's turn it on. 